Hi, I'm Mark, one of the co-founders of Langfuse, the LM engineering platform, including observability, evaluations, and prompt management. Thousands of teams rely on Langfuse, including the very best, such as Twilio, Samsara, and Khan Academy, as well as many large-scale enterprises. Langfuse is available on Langfuse Cloud with a generous free plan and can be self-hosted on your own infrastructure. Let's check out all major features via a quick demo project. On the Langfuse dashboard, you can see all important metrics to monitor your LM application. This includes overall volume, usage by model or token types, cost breakdowns by user, latency distributions, and quality metrics. Tracing is at the very core of Langfuse. When we interact with this example application, which is available in our documentation, by asking questions about Langfuse, we will see traces of the interaction in Langfuse, which highlights which documents actually went into producing this answer as they were fetched from our documentation, how the embedding workflow worked, and then the context encoding, and how we finally summarize the response. We can use the timeline view to get an understanding of the latency distribution. When we add to the conversation, it will add to the session length views, which can be used to track any kinds of conversations of threaded applications. You can add a lot more context to the trace, like user IDs, arbitrary metadata, or for each LLM call, any kinds of model promises that you would like to track. This application is integrated with Langfuse. For your own application, you can use our JavaScript or Python SDKs, for example, this decorator for Python, or any of our framework integrations, such as the one for LangChain, Llama Index, LightLM, the Vessel AI SDK, and many more. All features are available via the API, so you can always build your custom own integrations. In short, Langfuse is flexible and works with any LLM or application type. Going back to the Langfuse interface, evaluation is super important to understand whether the application actually works. Langfuse scores can capture any evaluation metric, and you can use one of the following four main evaluation methods. For production applications, you can capture user feedback and any comments via the SDKs. So let's add some user feedback here. And to have a look at it in the trace view in Langfuse. Second, you can configure Langfuse to run LM as a judge evaluators on all new created traces. These evaluators can run on the whole trace input and output, or also evaluate a section of the trace. So for example, for context relevance, the evaluator is configured to just evaluate the retrieval output. All of this can be fully customized in the LM as a judge section within Langfuse with custom evaluation templates you can create and then apply to newly incoming traces within Langfuse. Third, when manual human review is helpful, Use annotation queues to dig deeper or base a new evaluation process. I've already created this queue to review user feedback and added a couple of evaluation metrics. We can now add traces for which we received negative user feedback in the last seven days. And add them to an evaluation queue. You can then review them in a very simplified interface when you process the queue. We see only the inputs and outputs and can see an annotation drawer with all of the metrics that you have configured beforehand. And for each of the values, you can also add a score and reasoning if you wanted to. And then you just hit complete the next and get the next one. You can also use the SDKs and API to power your custom evaluation workflows and add any scores metric. After capturing evaluations in Langfuse, you can use the Langfuse dashboard 
you can plot the results. Just select the evaluation metrics you're interested in and get distributions and averages over time for the selected time frame and filter conditions. You can also follow this guide in the documentation to use Langfuse evaluations to measure the effectiveness of security guardrails that you might want to add to your application. Langfuse prompt management helps to version, edit, promote to production, and instantly rollback prompts. Thereby, everyone on the team can contribute and see which prompts are used without touching the code base. Langfuse prompts are linked to traces. Thus, we can see which prompt was used when a specific good or bad trace has happened. Going back to the prompt, we can compare metrics of all prompt versions um, across cost, latency, and evaluation results. Prompts can be used with no added latency due to our caching architecture. Just call get prompt and the Langfuse SDK takes care of the rest. You can also directly jump to a playground to make some changes and see how these affect the overall result. Apparently, Langfuse is great. Going back to the prompt, let's have a look into how we can use Langfuse datasets to test which of these prompt versions is actually better to make a good decision before moving them to production. Datasets can be used in development to test your LLM applications. A dataset is a test set of example inputs and outputs. You can upload a CSV file, manage them in the UI, upload via the SDKs, or you can also add new edge cases directly from Langfuse tracing. If you are like most teams working with Langfuse, there are new ideas that you want to test every week. A new prompt iteration, a new model checkpoint, a new agentive strategy, or a new retrieval method or configuration. Let's create some new experiments. We can either create a custom experiment via the Langfuse SDKs, which give you full control and are often run in CI or Jupyter Notebooks. Or we can use a prompt experiment directly in the UI to test different prompt versions on this data set. Let's go ahead. I quickly create three tests for three different prompt versions. We can give the experiment a name, select a prompt. I'll just check like 32, 35, and 37. A model configuration and a data set. Let's hit create. Let's create experiments for the other prompt versions as well. Now we have all three experiments launched. Let's wait a second until they are all finished. Perfect. Now we can see the three evaluation runs of the three different prompt versions in Langfuse and how they differ in latency the average cost per execution, how they performed in our correctness evaluation, and our contains code evaluation, which is a custom LLM as a judge email, which I configured. Let's have a look how these three prompts performed side by side. For example, in this line, we can see how we performed rather equally on correctness. But with version 32, we didn't contain any code in the output. Let's dig deeper. When looking at it side by side, 32 returned more like a qualitative answer, while 35 and 37 included some code snippets. As Langfuse datasets and experiments is linked to traces, it's easy to dig even deeper to see how the execution of the LLM call actually worked under the hood. If you have a large application that you run via the SDKs, this would then be your whole application trace. This was a quick tour of most major Langfuse features. Our documentation is the best starting point to learn more about each of them. And please reach out to us if you have any questions. 
to get started, create a free account on Langfuse Cloud or Salesforce Langfuse on your own infrastructure in a couple of minutes. Thanks a lot for watching.